So we have some really interesting questions, questions for Salvo and Simone. Um, so from Gary Baumgarten, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. The question is, how do you do interplanting at Etna in these old vineyards? So I think that's when you replace when you replace um, old vines. Okay, mm, so um, on, on Etna, for, for example, in um, some, um, in the parts where we have the old vines, we um, recuperated this vineyard from um, uh, the, for my grandfather. And we just, uh, in here by here, we just um, replace the, the, the plant that is died and we arrive to um, continue the same selection of uh, our variety that is found in the found in the, the vineyard because we have the possibility to plant um, the vineyard, especially uh, totally uncrafted because um, we know that in uh, the volcanic soil the phylloxera are problematic to to move to develop in, the, in this soil, and um, we continue this in that way for um, continue and for have the same, uh, the same um, varieties, yeah. So do you work with um, selection masale or with layering? Exactly, we work with selection masale. Selection masale. It's a chaos selection, exactly. Okay. It's a, a chaos selection, okay? <laughs> a chaos selection, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and a question from Margaret Rand, which says, if you have young vines in the vineyard alongside old vines, is it proved that the old vines pass their experience to the young vines? Do they not compete with the young vines for resources? So this is a question about your concept of a vineyard as a kind of an organism, <laughs> I think. Yeah, this is the, the, um, the concept like the chaos that we talk about, because um, you know, when uh, we just uh, uh, replace um, the, the new plant in the uh, young, in the very old vineyards, it's just to have uh, uh, important biodiversity. And it is like when uh, you live in a, in a city, you know, when you have uh, the collaboration of uh, many different people. So like the old man, the young man, and this is important for um, in the end to I have uh, something that is special and this unique because each plant participated at the, uh, for make uh, a result that in this case is uh, the wine. Interesting. And actually, Margaret, there's also an interesting new thesis that's been published in um, about the old vine Zinfandel in Lodi, actually about the co-planting of very old and young vines. So I will, I'll put that on the site, but I'll also send it to you. Um, great. So um, thank you. I mean, I hope everyone can see why we wanted to bring Salvo and Simone on. It's this concept of um, not a kind of sentimental or, um, you know, historical conviction. It's that this is a, a living terroir and humans are part of the living terroir. And I do urge you to watch their longer videos on YouTube. I think your point about agricultural work um, you, that used to be respected and with dignity and that we've lost that, it's a really important point. And it is a point that you see in the regenerative agriculture movement. And I think that um, we're only going to see this become more important and relevant to people. So, and also <laughs> his wines are fantastic. They're imported in the UK by Le Carpe de Perenne, but I think on the website, you can find out more about the Ivignieri collective uh, wines. So thank you. Thank you, <laughs> A presto, hope to see yes. you in Etna. Thank you guys. Cordial chaos, right. <laughs>